Hiya friends! It is day 15 on Mucknid Island. I think today we're just gonna go around, see what our people need and want, and just do our kind of little housekeeping chores. Let's see what the journal's trying to tell us here. Oh, okay. Last night I did go around and collect some shells and again do some kind of tedious chores. So I didn't even realize I got permit points for that. Shells. Ooh, are we close? Oh, oh, we got a ways to go for 250. That was nice to have those just waiting for us in the morning. Okay, we're kind of just on the, the hunt for cash. <laughs> so also permit points, obviously. So let's see what everyone needs. Let's go talk to Theodore. Hey, Theodore. Let's chat. Do you need anything, Theo? I could catch a fly for you. I can do that. That's pretty easy peasy. Oh, you know what? I think I have something in my pocket. That's not a pocket. That would be a pocket. I do. I have a cockroach for Theodore. He might be the only person ever to be happy about a cockroach. <laughs> there you go, sir. All you. Yay. I would be willing to donate it. Please take it. I don't know why it's in my pocket. Another hundred permit points. That's it. Thank you, Theodore. Okay. Let's see what John needs. Oh, too early. Oh, and it's Sunday. We'll have to find John out and about. Let's check Fletch. Hey, Fletch. Uh, no. Let's chat. I want to see if you have a job. Everyone and their flies. Okay, in the bush. We're there. Yes. We will... Oh, shoot. Now I've promised two, and I... I probably won't be able to find two. Oh, John, there you are. Just trying to pick up. Hey, hey, where are you going? The early magpie gets the dink. <laughs> you're funny. Is that why you're at Boozy? Um, you got a job for me, John? Hmm. You know what? I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes for so long. Think you could buy me some new clothing? Anything new in my wardrobe would be welcome. I can do that. How do you feel about yellow sneakers, John? Because I think I can do that for you. Okay. Butterfly. Are they saying that you can find the flies in the bushlands? I, is that where we're at right now? I think I've been calling them the plains. <laughs> uh, what can, I'm not from Australia. I don't know the lingo. Okay, check the horizon, see if things are moving. And the flies, the flies are tough to, to see. I usually hear them before I see them. Okay, I thought I saw a butterfly. Oh, gum log, yes please. Oh, I also did make some logs from from just some of our logs that we had. What? I made some planks from some of the logs we had. So I did a lot of just kind of that housekeeping stuff. So we would be ready to build if we got a request to build something. Oh, is that a fly behind me? I think it might be. Yay. Okay, well, that's one fly. Um... My gosh, I saw that black dog and I thought it was a bush devil. I'm thinking, why is he over here? This is not his habitat. Okay, we're going to cross the bridge to see if we can find a second fly. Oh my goodness, one right there. I'm glad we crossed the bridge. Let's deliver the goods. And what was it John wanted? He wanted some clothing. We can do that. Let's see. We've got blue shorts, our yellow boots. I think we should give him some yellow boots. I, th I think it's a win-win. While we see, while we know where he's at, we should probably give him his stuff. Yes, that is not. Here you go. I did find some clothing for you. Some fancy, fancy boots. Oh, I always pull through for you. Thank you, John. What are, what am I getting? A mushroom lamp. Okay. 
So the glowing mushrooms you find down in the mines, we don't have that pass yet. Oh, the moles. Okay, what do you want to trade? Trade clothes with John. I feel like we just did that. <laughs> um. Oh, Theodore's birthday is coming up on the 18th. Crafting. Collect 24 iron path. Holy moly. I don't think we... Iron? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Sorry, Alpha. Oh, no. I, I would normally do this request, but there is no chance that I can win against an Alpha Croco with my basic spear. That just can't happen. I wish because we need the cash, but there's no way. I would pass out for sure. Okay, John, looks like you just want to build your wardrobe. That's fine. Hey, um, let's chat. Here is your fly, ma'am. I'm curious what they do with the flies because they ask for those a lot. Ooh, business shoes. Fancy. You know what? Maybe John wants business shoes. Hey, John. Um, yep, I completed your quest. <laughs> okay, let's trade. I'm going to trade with some business shoes. Thank you. Be hood. Oh, okay. Boozy, we gotta put that on. Okay, here we go. Ready? Be hood. Thank you, John. That's amazing. <laughs> and it is time to get Theodore his fly. Oh, let's grab that. Okay. Theodore. We have a fly for you. Here you go. Here you go. You're welcome. Shake your hand, but that might be inappropriate. Instead, I'll give you this. I appreciate the dink. Um, no mention that I am dressed like a bee. That's you're cool with that. That's that's no big deal. Okay. Maybe I I don't know what he what he's seen back in South City. Apparently my little hood is no big deal. Okay. What am I seeing over here? Are they birds? They are birds. Those birds trick me every time. I really thought, oh, that has to be a butterfly though. I think I'm gonna have to just go fishing this afternoon and get some fish, cook some fish and sell it. I think that's probably gonna be the, the fastest way to make money. Though I do have wood. Maybe I'll do a little experiment and see how much it is to sell him wood logs as opposed to fish. Because it is easy to cut down a tree. And not so easy for me to fish, as we all know. Hey, check this out. I want to take you on a tour of my cemetery. It seemed only fitting to do it at sunset. Now, I've seen a lot of creators do this and I've been inspired by all of them. But I think it was probably the one that Reaps Gaming did that I'm like, yeah, I think I need to have one of those. So here's the main cemetery with lights and benches so you can sit and reflect on the people who have passed. I'll tell you what, these were really fun, especially when James included these signs. It made the cemetery a whole new thing, being able to add those before they were all like this. And just markers, but they were, they were just, you know, Jane and John Doe's. Um, that's not what you want for your loved ones, you know? You want a little R.I.P. action. Those, those grave markers are amazing. That, that was probably one of my favorite things that was added. And then on either side of the main cemetery, of course, there are private crypts or cribs. Actually, they're not crypts. 
those are buildings. Cribs are the ones with the gates around them. So these are for the VIP of the cemetery. I say that, not necessarily VIP, just the ones that have enough money to actually do it. Anyone can have a crib. Keeps animals out. I'm pretty sure it was Reaps who I saw do this, that used the stone pathing to make it look like there was a plot dug. I mean, it couldn't be more perfect. And especially now with the signs and everything. And there's a little water feature for our little cemetery and a bridge. So you can just appreciate the whole thing. Now I am a tombstone tourist. I love photographing grave markers in, in cemeteries and statues. So this was really fun for me to make. Again, this was my first one. And when I do it again, I might make it a little bit larger. And hopefully, I mean, every build, you want it to be bigger and better, right? So thank you for exploring my cemetery with me. We will now rejoin our episode already in progress. Let's see. Oh, got some more tea. I've actually kept some tea. Check this out. 25 health from that cup of tea. Yeah, I'm going to keep that with me. But I will also cook some bush lime. I really wish... Oh, I say that. I say I wish there's more bananas. I could totally plant some banana trees. What am I doing? What am I doing? I could put them right here. I could put them right here. Would they fall in the water when I harvest them? Probably. Okay, we have meat to put away. Let's check our little community garden. How are we doing? Um, doesn't look like anyone's watered anything today. That's fine. We can get our watering can. And dip it in the water. And here we go. Easy peasy. I, I am excited for these to, to grow. I want to make flour and get some bread. I do enjoy using the cooking table because the things you make at the cooking table are so much better for you than just the cooked fruit. I say better. They give you more energy, more health than any cooked fruit can do that. So obviously anytime you have to do something extra, it's going to give you more perks. Okay. But let's fill our water can before we put it away. That's easy. Okay, done. Did we even check what our tasks are today? Hunt animals. Oh, good grief. Smash rocks. Plant three crops. We can't. We already planted all of our seeds. But we can go... Uh, <laughs> we can... Okay, what do we want... What do we want to hunt? I mean, we could head to the kidnas. I, I mean, I guess that's right now, that might be our only choice. Um, again, I'm running through here and I look like I know where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, kidnas would be down at the desert. Okay. Or if we come across turkeys, does that count? Get up there, yes. Okay, I did see a turkey. Turkey? 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 Okay. Oh, that did count. Okay. And it gives us... Look at this. We have... Where to go? Where to go? Did it not give me my little drumsticks? Well, darn it. It only gave me feathers. Maybe... Am I just not seeing it? That's not cool. Oh, but I will take you. Thank you. There's another turkey. We're going to try this again. I want my drumsticks. Come here, turkey. Oh, there's two. Okay. Don't fall. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. There we go. A little drumstick. Only one, though? Okay. I really thought there would be more. That's okay. We're just... Ugh. We have to kill three of these guys anyways. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
So those are other things that you can cook and then eat and they will give you energy. Let's check our pockets. Oh, we got three. We got three left there. Should we scavenge a little bit? Get some bush limes. I would like some more waffle flowers because my goodness, that tea gives us way more energy than these cooked bush limes. Oh, there's a crocodile. Let's get out of there. So I would like to find some more of these waffle waffle flower. So there's three per bush and it takes five to make tea. So we just, every time we pass them, we just need to collect some, put them to good use. Okay. Hey doggos, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? You're just chilling, swimming. It's the life, man. The life of a doggo. You know, I didn't even check to see if there was a rare doggo, but I'm guessing if I saw one, I would know because <laughs> I've been looking for him and I think it would, it would throw me off to see a dog I didn't recognize. Okay, here we go. Um, should we, oh, crocodile. Should we find out where we're at? Okay, I think we probably have full pockets. Yes, we do. And we are, okay, just across. I see just across, but I'm pretty sure there's a crocodile right there. Oh, let's check our journal. Let's check our journal. Oh, from watering. Okay. Yes, we're getting a lot of permit points. That is fantastic. Okay, so we want to move away from the crocodile. I don't think I realized that the land went, okay, we're a little island. That makes sense that it goes all the way around us. Okay, so I'm going to not cycle through all of my tools. I would like to put some more waffle flour in the, the billy cans. We're going to swap that out. And I don't, I, we could still do rocks, but I'll tell you what, I think we're going to just call it, I'm going to spend the rest of the day fishing, um, but I'm not going to torture you with that. So I will see you next time.